Hey guys, it's Mishmash Adventures again, and today, well I should say tonight, um, we are going to do a Padnoster style rig, um, but I'm going to put my own little twist on it. So, uh, yeah, please enjoy the video. Okay guys, so first of all, what you're going to need is, you're going to need some this stuff. So, brim, mono, mono um, leader and uh, six pound leader is what I use for whiting. Um, so, yep, I've already pre-cut mine right here. Um, and you're going to need that much. Other materials you're going to need for this is going to be, this time, two hooks. Um, I would use long shanks, but I don't have them at the moment for whiting, but these are good brim hooks. You're also going to need two swivels and one sinker. Now the sinker will vary between um, what you're trying to fish and how rough the waters are. So yeah. So to start off with guys, you're going to grab your longest piece of your um, trace and you're going to need to get your hook. So one of your red hooks or whatever colour hooks you have, but I'm using these little hooks here. And you're going to put on the end of the line. Now if you want to see how to tie this knot, go to a different video, but I'm going to cut ahead. Righto guys, so we've now got the hook on the end of the line. Now this is where things get interesting. So we've got the hook there, here's the end of my line. So you want to choose around about the middle point, if not a bit further, to the end of your line where the hook is not at. So what you're going to get is you're going to grab one of your swivels. I would use a smaller swivel, but I don't have that at the moment. You're going to loop your line up like this, and you're going to sort of pinch it like that. Then you're going to get your swivel. This is a tricky bit as well. And you're going to put your swivel through the line. So once you've got it through your swivel hole, then you're going to get just pull a bit more out and then you're going to push it through the swivel and then pull tight. So that way it won't come undone now. So yep. So now what you need to do is once you've got your swivel on, you're going to grab your smaller trace. Now I've made my trace even smaller. Um, you're going to do, do a knot through there, you're going to put a hook, hook on the end of it, so then it becomes a pattern master style rig. So guys, you're now going to want to put your hook on the end of your smaller trace, so that's basically what it looks like at the moment. So by now guys, your rig should look something like this. So you've got two hooks on it. So now we're going to put the swivel. On the top here, here again, then the cut back, because you don't need to see me not tying the knots. So here's the completed pattern off the rig. So here's the swivel moving down to the next swivel and the two hooks at the end. So that's what it should look like. I don't have attached to a rod because I don't have my rod with me. Um, now I've got this sinker here as I said before and that'll go on my rod. Hopefully I can get a successful fishing video out when I go fishing with that rig tomorrow. So, yeah. So, yet again, guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, there'll be definitely more videos like this, hopefully. Uh, they're quite fun to do. There should be bloopers, because I stuffed up each of times. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, yeah.